Federal agencies are now looking into the Silicon Valley bank collapse. Uh, the Justice Department and the Securities and Exchange Commission have each launched probes into the second biggest bank failure in U.S. history. Here's ABC's Justin Finch with the details. Silicon Valley Bank now at the center of two federal investigations. The uh, SEC and the Department of Justice both will be interested in who knew what when and who did what when. The Department of Justice and the Securities and Exchange Commission carrying out separate probes looking for answers into the collapse of what was the nation's 16th largest bank. Two people familiar with the situation tell ABC News the DOJ and SEC investigations are in their early stages and it's unclear if any wrongdoing has been committed. Sources telling ABC News the FBI's early focus is on Silicon Valley Bank's leadership and if there's any evidence of possible insider trading. According to SEC filings, two top Silicon Valley executives sold shares in the company shortly before its collapse. A trust held by CEO Greg Becker sold nearly $3.6 million of SVB stock less than two weeks before the firm disclosed extensive losses that led to the bank's failure. I'm really grateful that the federal government did step in at the right time. Um, and this is, I think, about as good of an outcome as we could have hoped for. Meantime, new reports that Signature Bank shareholders are suing three former top executives at that bank, accusing them of fraudulently claiming it was financially strong just three days before the bank was taken over by regulators. The lawsuit asserting Signature misrepresented and failed to disclose adverse facts. And the Federal Reserve also conducting an internal review of its oversight of Silicon Valley Bank. But Senator Elizabeth Warren wants Fed Chairman Jerome Powell to recuse himself, saying policies he supports allow banks like SVB to profit off risky investments. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.